morning, everybody. Welcome to morning prayer. Uh, this morning, I am in our, the fellowship hall at St. Paul's, which is called Sanders Hall. Um, and the reason why I'm here is because one of the things that I'm um, planning for us for this morning is uh, is some music. And I have played on every single piano in this church. There are many that you probably don't even know about, but my favorite one is the one in Sanders Hall. It's it's my favorite sound and the the keys and all that kind of stuff even though it's it's kind of beaten up and there's chipped keys and all sorts of things it's it's my favorite one of my favorite places in the church actually so in the church building um so this morning let's open up oh lord let my soul rise to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Uh, the song that I wanted to, to sing with you, and I, I, we may have done this already, like a few months back, but it's one of my favorite songs, um, is Come Thou Fount. So if you all would sing with me, if you, if you so dare in your... Um, in your homes at, at 8 a.m. to sing. Let's sing this morning. Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy ever see Call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. Here I raise my Ebenezer, hither by thy help I've come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the fold of God, he to rest from danger interposed his precious blood oh to grace how great a debtor daily I'm constrained to be let thy goodness like a fetter bind my wandering heart to Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, Lord, take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. Here's my heart, Lord, take and seal it. Seal it for thy The morning mantra this morning is from John Wesley, the founder of Methodism. He said this a lot, uh, and it was actually his final words on his deathbed. Best of all, God, you are with us. Best of all, God, you are with us. Um, that's not to be said uh, tritely or... Um, like as some sort of placation, you know, but it is really um, understood to be in the midst of suffering in the, in even the worst times, uh, we still have the best thing, which that, it, that God is with us. Um, and so this morning's psalm is Psalm 88. 
uh, 15 through 19. And it's a, it's a psalm of lament. It's a psalm of when everything feels like it's going wrong, of crying out to God, of saying, why? <laughs> why are you doing this? Um, the psalmists are a lot more honest than we are a lot of times with how we feel. And um, so if you are struggling this morning or um, if you are dealing with hardships or just frustrations, um, let me invite you into to this reading this morning. We don't have to hide those feelings from God. Uh, the more holy thing is to bring them to him. Lord, why have you rejected me? Why have you hidden your face from me? Ever since my youth, I have been wretched and at the point of death. I have borne your terrors with a troubled mind. Your blazing anger has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me all day long like a flood. They encompass me on every side. My friend and my neighbor you have put away from me. And darkness is my only companion. Or as my kids would say, hello darkness, my old friend. But best of all, God, you are with us. Um, what does it mean for you, you know, to say that best of all, God, you are with us, even in the midst of um, anger or frustration or suffering. Um, if you have prayer requests this morning, you can go ahead and, and post those in the chat. Uh, I would love to pray for you and, and with you this morning. Um, if you aren't already a part of our prayer team at St. Paul's, uh, there is a prayer at St. Paul's, prayer at St. Paul's, Facebook group, uh, and there's also a prayer email that gets sent out every week that has a list of all the people who've been requesting prayer this week uh, and who are praying over, and I would love for you to be a part of that group. Um, your faithful prayers uh, are so, so needed. There are so many people in our in our church and our community who are, um, who are in need of them, who are in need of one another to lift to lift one another up. Uh, so this morning, um, just a, maybe a few that, well, I don't, I don't like sharing the personal ones on, on the video without having permission, but you should, you should definitely read the list. Um, there's some, some pretty heavy ones in there. Um, but let's pray. And then as we close our prayer, uh, this morning, I'd like to pray the uh, Wesley's Covenant prayer with you all. So um, I don't see any prayer requests in the chat. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pray, y'all. Ready? God, thank you so much for your presence with us. A presence that we aren't always fully aware of, um, and sometimes we don't understand how you're working and moving in the world. We blame you for things that, that aren't really your doing. Um, and Lord, sometimes we give you credit for, for blessings that, that aren't necessarily your doing either, especially if they come at the expense of somebody else. Um, but Lord, we, uh, we know that you are here with us, that... Um, that you have created us in this world, that you love us in this world. And we pray that you would help us, help guide us in the ways that we pray, in the ways that we serve in the world. Um, help us to Speak when we need to speak and, and remain silent, Lord, when we need to remain silent, to listen. Help give us hearts full of compassion. And Lord, on this day, we, we ask that, that we would embrace whatever this day has for us, that we would offer it to you and offer ourselves to you, Lord, as living sacrifices. Uh, 
God, that it would not be me, Lord, but Christ who lives in me today. And so, Lord, with that in mind, we pray this morning um, the covenant prayer that Wesley wrote. Um, I am no longer my, my own, but thine. Put me to what thou wilt. Rank me with whom thou wilt. Put me to doing. Put me to suffering. Let me be employed for thee or laid aside for thee exalted for thee or brought low for thee. Let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things, let me have nothing. I freely and heartily yield all things to thy pleasure and disposal. And now, O glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thou art mine and I am thine, so be it and the covenant which I have made on earth, let it be ratified in heaven. Amen. I don't know exactly where you are today, where your spirit is, if you are full of joy and ready to, to embrace all that is before you or whether or not you are, um, will be in bed for another two hours, right? <laughs> And mostly because you're hiding. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. Um, wherever you are this morning, know that God is with you. Um, and not to compare ourselves to one another, but uh, just to embrace what God has for you today. To take that next step toward God. Um, to recognize in God's presence with you. I know as um, that I have to, the reason that that song that we sang was one of my favorites, that bind my wandering heart to thee, O Lord. You know, I, even though I'm a pastor, that doesn't mean I'm not human. And, you know, my heart wanders too. Um, I, I have days where I accuse God of all of my, my suffering in the world. And, um, so today, my prayer today is for, for God to bind my heart to him. And I, I pray that for you as well. So accept this blessing and uh, speak it with me if you are able. Come, Holy Spirit, we pray that your fruit would be in us today. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Through our lives and by our prayers, may your kingdom come. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.